The basic architecture of an autoencoder consists of three main components, the encoder, the bottleneck or latent space, and the decoder. The encoder compresses the input data into a latent space representation. This latent space is a low-dimensional space that captures the essential features of the input data. The bottleneck layer, which is the smallest layer in the network, holds this compressed representation. Finally, the decoder reconstructs the input data from the compressed representation produced by the encoder and the bottleneck. Training an autoencoder focuses on minimizing the difference between the original data and its reconstructed version. The goal is to improve the decoder's ability to accurately reconstruct the original data from its compressed representation. At the same time, the encoder becomes better at compressing the data in a way that preserves critical information, ensuring that the original data can be effectively reconstructed. Here's a typical training scenario. At the beginning, the reconstruction error is high because the autoencoder's weights are randomly set. As training progresses, the error decreases, and the autoencoder gets better at accurately recreating the original image, which now looks almost identical to the input.